the opportunity to come and talk to you today about collecting medical supplies for Haiti. First, let me tell you a little bit about the country. It occupies the island of Hispaniola, shared with the Dominican Republic, which Christopher Columbus discovered in 1492. It's the first black-led republic in the world. It gained its independence as part of the successful slave rebellion in 1804. Rene Pramol is the current president. The capital is Port-au-Prince. Haitian Creole and French are the official languages. Although the island is a beautiful place with its high mountains and clear beaches, Haiti is the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere. The country is only about the state of Mar size of Maryland with over 6 million people on it. The average factory worker receives $2.60 per day. I have a special connection with the island people. My family has worked with global missions of Topeka, Kansas and Lighthouse Missions of Jacksonville, Florida for over 30 years. For 10 years, my grandparents, the late John and Cammy Carey, my great-grandmother, the late Ernest Byers, and my mom made two missionary trips per year to Haiti. My mother had the opportunity to live in Port-au-Prince, Haiti, while working with the Haitian Christian Center for the Deaf, making uniforms for the school, and teaching the older teen girls how to sew, hoping they would one day get a job in one of the factories. Top of their list was food distribution. They would purchase beans, rice, cornmeal, and bread to hand out to the people. It was purchased in 100-pound bags, then divided into 5-pound bags to be handed out. Sometimes they would cook the children's lunch and serve it. They would always take special treats of candy and toys to the orphanages. Along with food, they'd make sure every child had soap, toothbrushes, toothpaste, shoes, and clothes. Many schools hold classes under large trees or buildings called brush arbors. The kids would love a break to receive a snack of bread, Kool-Aid, and candy. The last trip my family made to Haiti was December of 1989. Like all the previous trips, they purchased food, gave out clothes, toys, and school supplies. Although that was the last time they were on the island, we have continued to send clothing, shoes, toys, and money through global missions and lighthouse missions. I'm sure you have all heard about the earthquake that happened. On January the 12th, a 7.0 magnitude earthquake struck Haiti. It devastated the capital city of Port-au-Prince and surrounding towns and villages. The presidential palace, parliament, and many other important structures were destroyed, along with the countless homes and businesses. This is the picture of the palace before the quake. Here it is today. The next few pictures are of the massive destruction the quake caused. It doesn't need any narration. Millions are left homeless, sleeping in makeshift tents and on the street. There are over 150,000 people dead, and still some are missing. Thousands are needing our help. When we saw the devastation on TV, we called Mr. Manning, the director of Global Missions, and asked, what was the most <coughs> urgent need? He said medi medical supplies were at the top of the list. Just simple things like band-aids, neosporin, and Tylenol are greatly needed. My goal is to get a truckload of supplies, a U-Haul truck, not a truck of pickup load, and deliver it to the Dock of Friendships, a non-profit shipping line that Global Missions and many other mission organizations use to deliver supplies to missionaries and organizations around the world. It will be delivered directly to the hands of the clinic workers and 
doctors and the orphanage directors. My grandmothers passed away before I had the chance to know them, but what I do know about them is they loved the island and did all they could to help the people. If they were alive, they would be here today talking to you about their love for the Haitian people and the great need for getting medical supplies to the clinics. So in their memory and honor, I stand here today to thank you for your interest and concern for the people of Haiti. I thank you for the opportunity to keep the legacy of my grandparents' mission work alive. These are the ships that the global missions use to carry ticket items to Haiti. As you can see, they're begging for help. Thank you for this a chance to tell you about Haiti. Are there any questions? Yes. Um, I think it's the how long it took to for the supplies to get back to Haiti. Once it's once it's on the ship, it will take three days. Any more questions? Thank you.